think I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Which is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Which is perfect. Yo, I'm just here to play The Sims. Hey, it's your host, Hurricane K. And I'm here with a video, my first ever Sims gameplay video with my favorite character, Sion Ture Jr. Yo, this is second generation. This guy, I've been with him ever since he was a baby in his diapers, even before that, even before he was conceived. His father actually started the Ture household, the Ture legacy. But before I get into the blast from the past, let me tell you about the current time. Now, Sion Ture, like I said, he's one of my favorite characters. And basically, he is the most notorious sim in my game. Sion Ture, successor of Simkuza. My father, Sion Ture, passed down his game, drug lordship, and legacy to me to fulfill, and I will do so for my children as well. That is his job title. Nothing more and nothing less, but the best. You feel me? So today we're going to just be taking you through the life with Sion. He's going to hit up his boys right now. He's about to call the game and uh, introduce you to the crew. Hey, call him over. Y'all on your way? Look at his hand. Why he holding the phone like that? <laughs> okay. What's up with the... Okay, so this is his wifey. And um, obviously she's not having a good time right now. Because she's on her womanly thing and she ain't got no pills dang she gonna have to take a trip look she walking around all mad she gonna have to take a trip straight up wait where's she at All right, she gonna go to the wicked store. So like I said, Sion is a man of very little words. He just be chilling for real, not much. Oh, the kids gotta go to school. Wait a minute, hold up, you feel me? So where my homies at? Where my homies at? Hey, where my homies at? And hey, where my homies at? Hey. Um. There go Rura. Rura to Ray. coming so here we got one of the founding fathers Jin Suwoo who is actually 
Sion's grandfather on his mother's side. We got Rora Toure, which is his brother-in-law. Yep, he married into the family and just happened to have the same last name. Where are the other people at? Uh, oh, who is this coming? Oh, well, that's Sion. <laughs> oh, see y'all kissing like y'all in the Italian mafia. We got work to do. Yo, Sion. Hold up here a minute. We got to send old boy to do something too. Let's get him. Oh, he can't be sent to do nothing. Hey. Okay, hey, look, look, look. My brother is here. Cortez. This is my right hand man right here. This is Sion Therese's big brother. Half brother. By blood. And, uh, yeah, this is my right hand man. I don't know what's up though. He look worried. Come on, y'all. Don't start dancing. Here we go. You ever seen gangsters dance like this? Like, really? And you all in the bushes though. Why? Anyways, man, I thought they was dancing to hip hop. <laughs> okay. Memories, man, I'm telling you. Tell me about the ops. Stone Weavers. Simple Fuba. Obisha. Free Bono. So, what else is new? I don't think you gotta do nothing right now. Let's arrange a sit down with the other gang. Slip of Warmba has turned Zerpa new. Oh, what? Who is talking to who? I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. So he's arranging a sit down. Hey, here though the other crew member, Vivek. Now Vivek is a relative of theirs, married to um Sion Therese's daughter. Yeah, he's married to one of the daughters of Sion Therese. So, y'all met some of the gang members now. Now, the other person y'all really need to know about is Sion Therese's son. 
This is Yontere's son and his daughter-in-law. As you can see, they look very in love. And uh, yeah, he is Yontere, the, I want to say the second? No, he's the first. Sion Tere the first. And he is going to be taking over for his dad. Once his dad is, you know, leaving the game. The dad is going to leave the game too. But they look like they about to get to some business. If you know what I mean. So we're going to leave them to that. And uh, Sion Tere is going to go out and meet his entourage at a hangout place so yeah for now let's just meet the gang we just introducing the gang to you and eventually what I want to do with this channel is I want to make machinima but I don't know how to do it yet I'm still learning so eventually we'll turn this into a not an in play series but like a machinima Hey, where's Jen yeah. going? Yes! Yes! Alright, we about to meet all the, the gang members at the spot. Ah! Oh, hello, boy! Now this is Simkuza headquarters. All right, yo, we are at Simkuza's headquarters. And this is where all the magic happens. And as you can see, they they out here playing around dancing and stuff randomly for no reason I don't know why and no they're not gay none, none of these men are gay nothing against the rainbow fam <laughs> but uh they're not gay they're all married with women and they are very heterosexual this is uh this is one of the family members right here this is Rua's son who is also married to Sion Teray's um, sister. This is Sion Teray's son, one of the sons, Ryan. He is also one of the lawyers. Y'all, y'all play too much. <laughs> Cortez and Sion over here dancing and dancing. All right, who, who else we got? Gun. Okay, so that's one of our other... He looked like he's about to go home. That's Gun. Hold on, let me, let me pause this real quick so y'all can see him. Gun, who is also a member of the Syndicate since he was a teenager. Um, Gun is related to them too. Let me think. Okay, so Sion Therese mother's mom so his grandmother siontari's grandmother is gun's mother cool yeah so everybody in this gang is pretty much related either they're related by marriage in-law or they're related by blood so that's pretty much how this whole gang goes and look at some sion's Therese's son ryan he's cute ain't he so let me just, because I know you guys noticed that Sion is Asian. His brother is mixed as well. And, you know, we just got a lot of family. So Sion Teray's wife is Dominican, actually. She's Dominican and uh, African-American mixed. So that's why, you know, the son is looking all nice and spiffy. I, I do support and do love the Blasian community. So, you know, we got a little representing up in here. Look, look, what you think? Blasian? Yeah, 
definite. We got a little blazer representation up in this mug. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. So anyways, we just chilling at the crib. Oh, let me just show y'all a little bit. This is the headquarters right here. And this is all decked out. Like... We got a bar. You know, they could come and get their little drink on. Arcade. And the magic starts, though. I'm going to show y'all where the magic starts. Because I actually built this. I mean, I didn't build the whole thing. I had downloaded it from a different uh, player. But I edited it all by myself. Where is the thing? Oh, look. Okay, check this out. So, do you see anything interesting? I bet you don't, right? But if you notice this, it says lock. So why would that say lock? You feel me? Because there's something on the other side. So... What's in here? Hmm. Only time would tell. So I'ma show like you. I said behind this door is just, you know, beautiful things. You feel me? This is the secret warehouse where basically he has all of his drugs that he hides he has containers here like this i don't think it has anything in it though he sold a lot of his stuff and you know this is this is where the drug production happens back here they got a snack bar back here a scarecrow that patchy he helps out with the growing of the bud they got a little bee collection thing here too oh they he need to get this honey for sure. Yeah, so anyways. Um, this is what's back here. He got a tent back here. And uh, this is all the bud that he grows back here. And the, the pots and everything. Yeah, pretty much. Um, what else is back here? He got an outhouse. He got a little portable um shower and then he has the this right here is uh for curing the bud. So he got a whole little cannabis set up and you know, it's all good. Like I built this this whole thing I built by myself. I added it on to this whole thing the headquarters and the reason why it's all like this is because when the police come and they try to bust yo straight up look he is straight high as you can see i didn't take the walls down but this right here is the only entrance in and out of this greenhouse and it's like that so it remains hidden i'm gonna show y'all the rest of this uh the rest of this whole shebang. Okay, so he going upstairs. He got the beekeeper suit on still. That's one of the the guards. Yeah, he got bodyguards going all the way around here. They got the little hookah stand right here where they can smoke their bud. They got a, a a stall right here where they can have different types of, you know, Asian cuisine. And they have a top layer, too. I'm going to show it to y'all in a second. Oh, shoot. So they got Ricky Gigolo. Now, I might end up doing a spinoff with him. Ricky Gigolo is one of the most famous male gigolos here in the in our city. 
He got a whole bunch of baby mamas, y'all. I ain't even gonna cap. Here they go with this dancing. Okay, so up here is the main, you know, place for the people who are in charge. And they got the the art. And this is where they have the meetings and they have a little bar up here too. There's another pl place that I wanted to show y'all, but I don't know if I, I probably edited that. Yeah. But so far, what y'all think about this whole, the whole warehouse? Do y'all think like the whole uh, headquarters, do y'all think like it's cool? You know, let me know in the comment section. Y'all like the way I set up everything? We got different rooms for different things, for real. But it's like the ultimate chill spot. You feel me? It's like low key. Oh, let me show you how y'all even get in this thing. It's so low key. You literally have to come around. Like this is the whole thing here. You literally have to go all the way around from the from the back to even get in. Oh snap! What just happened? Okay. There we go. So if you put the little roof up, that's what it looked like. And this is like the pool area right here. Okay, this is, I think this is what I was trying to show y'all. This is the VIP area here. And it's like bathrooms in there and stuff. Camera. This is decorated very well. yeah all right well that's it for now you know that's it we're gonna talk to y'all some more this this headquarters i will show y'all the video where he actually bought it him and the right hand man got together and cooked up some stuff so i'll show y'all that in the next video but until then peace out Peace out.